Legendary Yuck Mouth from the Bay. Let's give it up for him. Yada da, yada, man. We live on Celebrity Moho TV, baby. Yada da. Oh boy. Yuck Mouth. I gotta ask you a question real quick. It's late at night. You just did a show. You're hungry. What's your go-to fast food spot? Mmm. In and out. Okay. Okay. What he say? In and out. He say in and out. He in and out. Okay. That's how you open the light down there at three thirty. This is her question right here. Have you ever had sex in the booth in the studio? Yes. Oh. Yes. That's it. There it is. That's it. <laughs> Alright, for our listeners out there listening, man, we know you've made a, a ton of money off the rap game in the, in, the, in the music industry. Is there something aside from the music industry that you've invested your time and money in and financially and made some gains that you could share with our listeners here to give them a little up on something? First thing, man, real estate. I'm a landlord, so I got property and shit. And, um, yes, sir. You know, I got the um, the podcast shit going on. You got my right, TV, right. you know, right. Smoke Light Radio. Got the Wonder Twins. I got a... Uh, Got high learning. So just Yuck Mouth TV just doing a lot of content over there and shit. So besides hip hop, also getting into the cannabis ventures. You know what I mean? A lot of cannabis ventures in the cannabis community and whatnot. So um, yeah, just different different angles and shit. Like Um, yeah, just different different angles and shit. Like, I really don't fuck with the um, the cryptos and all that shit and the NFTs, man. You see the crash and shits go up and down like a roller coaster. Right. Some that you really can't trust. So, back up and get us all I think I think real estate holds its value. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm more I'm more into that. Okay. All right. Hey, you heard that? So with that being said, I, I have a question. Did you did you guys ever trademark? I got five on it. Uh, yeah. Published, yeah, it's all published it's, by, yeah, okay. but. And now, I would, now, with that, give me the craziest story of you got five on it, Some, something, you been in the airport, did y'all just go places, people get y'all fives? What was the uh, craziest I got five on the story? <laughs> uh, it gotta be, uh, shit, the us, the movie, the us, you know what I mean? Like, we never thought that they would slow that music down and make it, like, so creepy. You know what I mean? I never thought a five on would be a scary song. They slowed that shit down and made it scary for the movie. So yeah, how they did it in the Us movie, Jordan Peele. You right, know, that, right, that shot, that right, fucked us up. Right. You know, that was the uh, the, the most shocking five on the moment to us. You know, them putting five on in the horror movie. Where did, where did the idea for the song, I Got Five On It, come from? Uh, a combination of all of us. Uh, uh -huh. Shout out to Numb School, my, my partner. He came up with the title. You know, um, I came up with the hook. And, uh, you know, the idea for the sample, Tone Capone made the beat, you know, came up with uh, Mike Marshall to do the hook, and the shit, the rest is history, like, we all put, like, it was like, everybody put they, they, yeah, yeah, it's like a gumbo pot, you know what I mean, that made that shit go down, everybody pulled their strings and made that song go down, and, you know, do what they do right now, but salute to Tone Capone, because he made that beat better than the That's original. Than the original. Yeah, he yeah, shit it on right, the original. Right, you know, shout right. out Club Nouveau for clearing the sample too, J. King. Right. You know what I mean? So it was a combination of everybody. That song you know? will go forever, man. Yeah, thank forever, you. Thank forever. you. Forever. I love that, man. We heard that song. That one, it, yeah, man. Y'all got some hell of a hit. I think y'all put out four albums. Four albums. Right. Y'all sold over one million copies, man, in just no, the United four, States. Four million. Four, four, that's what I meant. Four million. Damn. And that's just four the million? And then, one million. I'm gonna say, yeah. Four million. Yeah. This is usually my corrector right here.
backwards. My bad. I just and that's just in the United, you're not, that's in the United yeah, States. We're not talking said, worldwide. You said it's four million. <laughs> hey, I stand to be corrected. I stand to be corrected. That's Say that again. Let these motherfuckers know how many. Four million. Nah, That's four million. Lot, four, we went four times platinum on the first album. Right. Five Damn. on it. Went three times platinum in the album platinum. Damn. So, you know, that's how we did that one. Right. On, on the four times platinum, but like, yeah, we way, to, way more than four million sales. You know what I mean? Period. Way more. Uh, so, other question for you. Do you feel that the internet has weakened the rap game as far as money, as far as people, artists coming up? If there's, or do you feel that it's, uh, it, it's, it's made it more better for artists coming up independently to make more money? Or, I think it's a combination of both. Uh -huh. I think it's easier, but it's also cheaper. You know, they're getting paid, you know, like a half a penny or something per, per string. When um, we used to get paid a dollar a song, you know, seven seven dollars wholesale for a record. You know what I mean? Like right now, it ain't. It's none of that shit. You gotta like sell. You gotta do it some amount of streams to be considered one copy. So like uh, one stream or some shit like that. So like if I go on right now, Spotify, click your song and play. Do you get how much? Do you know what around about? Do you say that's like a, a penny? A half a penny. Damn. A half a penny. That shit what? That shit crazy. And then for you to, if you got an album, they gotta stream your album 1,500 times for it to be considered one sale. Damn. Damn. So you gotta do 15 million streams to go platinum. Wow, man. Wow. That's the game is crazy right now. Damn. Crazy. Wow. Yeah. So, I feel I feel the independent game came from the Bay Area. Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. like we know a lot of people, man, I feel the I feel the Bay Area does not get its props that it deserves. I mean, we have so many people that are da -da. Come, come on, man. The whole Tupac crew is in this motherfucker. <laughs> How are you? How you doing? You no, know, I had to come. Come on in. Come on in. Introduce yourself, young lady. Who? Uh, we know you are, but introduce yourself. I forgot Macro Macro. And give a shout out to Celebrity Moho TV. This is who we have to have a camera on, not later. Yes, yes, yes. This is the man of the hour right here, you know what I'm saying? But no, thank you. Yeah, that's right. Wow. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Right, come on. So, last right. question. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get this last question real quick. I've been in the entertainment. I've been driving celebrity motorhomes for like 18 years. I've seen the craziest shit on people's riders or what they gotta have in a trailer, whether it be music video or their dressing room, before they get there. Right. What's the number one most important item you have to have in your dressing room or your trailer before you get on set? Just some liquor, some alcohol, but <laughs> you know me. I, I usually bring my own weed, but when I'm out of town, I like tell them I need some weed. Like, yeah, yeah, bring yeah. some weed. <laughs> like the promoters in different states, they make sure I have a good ounce or two of weed in the rider. Definitely, you know what I mean. Hey. They know that they know I'm smoking something. Definitely. You heard it first. You heard it first, y'all. Is there anything that you're working on right now that you want to tell oh, the listeners that we can get up uh, on? You know, me and Sebo working on that new Thug Lords. You know what I mean? Cocaine Cowboys. Um, my new solo album, City of Dope, part two. Um, me and Jay Hood got the Savages part two coming out. And um, next year, me and Pete Rock doing crack rock. You know what I mean? He doing all the beats and I'm doing the rapping, man. Me and his album together. So Damn. we working still, baby. Damn. You know? Hey, you heard it. Where can they follow you at? Please let them know. Please hey, let man, them know. Hey, man, get me on the gram, you know, at Regime General. Get me on uh, Twitter at The Real Yuck Mouth. T H A Real Yuck Mouth. And uh, Facebook, Yuck Mouth. And uh, shit, YouTube, Yuck Mouth TV. Subscribe to your motherfucking guy. Yeah, there it is. There it and, is. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And get the merch and everything else to make your body twerk. You know what I mean? At smokealotrex.com. <laughs> you bitch you. <laughs> you bitch you. Hey, last one thing, what's that? If you could work with any, if you could work with any artist right now in the game and do a song with, who would you want to work? Ah, oh, oh shit, man, like new or old? New, 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 new. new. Shit, probably um Sauce Walker. There it is. I there fucking sauce whacker, man. Yeah, sauce, is. sauce is that sauce. Yeah, there it is. There it sauce, is. Hey, sauce, sauce got that Mac Dre type of feel to him. That fun. Yeah, you got that fun type of Mac Dre feel. So I fuck with sauce. Out of the new niggas, man. But the old niggas, of course, man. You know, Jay Z, Nas. You know what I mean? The big dogs. You right, know what right, I mean? Right, um, right. Ice Cube still oh, always want to do a song with Ice Cube. Okay. You know what I mean? So they a couple of the big dogs and shit. But other than that, man, yeah. There it is. Uh, 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 Lil so Baby, too. There it is. Lil Baby it, is a motherfucker.
Lil Baby, get this man his he props. He talked that shit. He talked the shit I talked. Get this man his props. If you got a man on set and he ain't got no motherfucking weed in his trailer.